What's up guys? You know, there are many different projectiles on the market, and before buying one of them, you should find out how you are going to use it. Some projectiles are good for office and college, because they have a high resolution and brightness, so you can even use them in conference or study room. While the other projectiles are suitable for camping, because they have built-in battery, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Now I have the new projector, and that looks like a very good option for home theater, because it has Android TV operating system with more than 8 thousand apps, including Netflix, YouTube, and Apple TV+, Google Voice Assistant support, up to 300 inches screen size, native Full HD resolution, and 4K support, 500 anti lumens brightness. This projector is called Cybest G1, and today we will do a full review of it. Let's start with unboxing, and then take a look at design, user interface and settings, test the noise level, speaker quality, and of course, a projection quality. The new projector comes in a quite big box. There's a very nice image on the front, but I don't see any specs or features on the box. Later in this video I will tell you about them. There's a high-quality carrying bag inside the box. It even has a kind of leather Cybest logo. When you open the bag, you will find a user manual, a quick start guide, as well as sticks and webs to clean the projector lens. Then we have many different cables, such as EV cable, HDMI cable, and power cable. You know, one of the main features of this projector is Android TV operating system. In fact, the operating system is installed on the separate TV box. You can find it in this box as well as micro-USB cable, mini-HDMI cable, remote control and user manual. As you can see, the TV box is called Haka Mini. We will definitely show you how to connect it and use it. Of course, there is a projector itself in the back. You know, I recently tested a compact Pico projectors, so now Cybest G1 looks huge to me. Its dimensions are 285 by 240 by 103 mm. The weight is 24, 50 grams. I think you will agree with me that this projector looks very stylish. I like a combination of white and silver colors. However, the entire body is made of plastic, and there are no metal elements. By the way, one of the main features of Cybest G1 projector is a dustproof design and full sealed optical engine. It means that the dust will not get inside the body, so the projector will last you a very long time. Overall, I don't have any complaints about the build. The projector is very well made. So, on the front, there is a lens, a speaker grill and a sensor for automatic focus. We will talk about it a little later. There is another speaker grill on the back, as well as power socket, keystone correction wheel, USB port, HDMI port, AV, 3.5mm audio jack and audio receiver. The air inlet is on the right side, while the outlet is on the left. As I said before, Cybus G1 comes with a TV box. There is even a compartment for it on the side of projector. This is a very useful feature, because you can connect a TV box and hide it inside the body of projector, so the HDMI port on the back is free for connection other devices, such as game console, laptop, etc. The control buttons on the top of projector are quite standard. Here we have OK, up and down, left and right, return, source and power on off. There is also Cybus logo at the top. You know, I am a little surprised that the projector doesn't have holes for mounted to the ceiling. You can only put it on the table or a shelf. However, there is a kickstand at the bottom, so you can raise the front of the projector. If we talk about remote control, I think it comes from the TV box, not from the projector itself. I think so, because it was in the box with TV box. Anyway, a remote control has many useful buttons, such as Netflix, Prime Video, Projector Focus and Projector Home. You can also press a Google Assistant button. By the way, there is a built-in microphone in the remote control for voice commands. That's very good. Now I want to show you how to connect a TV box, and then we will look at the user interface. By the way, you can read a quick start guide with mobile device connection, installing TV box and network settings. So first, you need to open the cover on the side of projector, and then insert a TV box. Now just connect a USB cable and HDMI cable to a TV box. That's all. However, when you first power on a projector, you have a projector menu, but not TV box menu. 
First, you can go to the movie, music, picture and text. These sections are available when you plug in the USB flash drive. And then you can select an input source, such as HDMI, AV and Android. We will go to Android a little later, but for now, let's take a look at the settings menu. Here we have picture settings, such as picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, color range, mirror mode, image scale, focus mode and focus calibration. By the way, Cybest G1 projector has autofocus, but you can also adjust the focus manually. After the focus calibration, the text in the corners is good. The sound settings have sound mode, balance and surround sound. You can also change your language, factory reset, software update and display time in the system settings. Ok, this is the projector settings, but you can also go to Android and look at the TV box settings. You know, this is a standard Android TV operating system, so the main screen and settings are the same on all devices. You can set up network and internet, sign in, Google account, look at the apps, device preferences, TV settings, remotes and accessories. In the TV settings, there is a display, HDMI, CES and audio output. By the way, here we can see the maximum screen resolution of 1080p. As already said, a TV box runs on stock Android TV operating system. And there is already installed Netflix and YouTube, but you can download Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV Plus and many other apps. The Google Play Store has more than 8000 apps. Another feature of Cybest G1 projector is a low noise level. You know, it is really one of the quietest projectors I have tested. The noise level is only 42 dB near projector. And it is about 37 dB at 1 meter. As for the built-in speaker, it is a hi-fi stereo with 10 watt power. First, the speaker is very loud and it has a very good bass. Just listen to some songs. Finally, we can talk about projection quality. Cybest G1 uses TFT LCD technology, like many other budget projectors in 2022. The native resolution is Full HD 1080p, but there is also 4K support. As I said before, the image is clear and you can read fine text. The contrast ratio is 20,000 to 1, so the projection has a very good saturated colors in a dark room. By the way, I have placed the projector at about 2.5 meters of the wall, and I have a 100 inches screen size. Overall, the manufacturer says that the maximum screen size is 300 inches, but I don't even have that wall at home. Sound 
there's a hierarchy of the family. You know, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. There was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. Pain and suffering. It's almost as thick as my iPhone 12 in a protective case. By the way, you don't need a protective case for Cubit King Kong Media 3 because this is a ragged mobile device. It has a waterproof and the And this one is a bit more unique as it has this really nice texture to it. So it's a new renewable slash sustainable and eco-friendly material. It's a unique microfiber back cover design. A lot of companies are shifting. Talking about the brightness of Cybus the G1 projector, I cannot measure it, but the manufacturer promises 500 ANSI lumens. The image is really bright in a dark room, so you can watch dark movies with no problems. You can even watch a projector with lights on. Yes, it is not very convenient, especially when you turn on the main ceiling lamp, but even then, you can see the projection. So Cybus G1 is another budget LCD projector, but it has some advantages over its competitors. As I said at the beginning of this video, Cybus G1 is a good projector for home theater because it comes with TV box and Android TV operating system. It already has Netflix, Amazon Prime, and you can install many other apps from Google Play Store. You don't need to connect the external devices to watch the movies. I like that the TV box is hidden in the projector body, so you can use a second HDMI on the back to connect a game console. You know, Cybus G1 is one of the quietest projectors I have tested. You should pay attention to this before you buy a projector, because some of them are so noisy that it gives you a headache. Considering the budget price of this projector, I am surprised to see automatic focus. So Zabus G1 is the best value projector for home theater in 2022. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!